care what he says because there's no consequences. It's actually talking about something very natural, but it gets distracted by the consequences. And touching keys, that, that's a dread. You want touching keys to be a consequence. Right, we need to change it. So uh, it can be changed. You just have to practice uh, a steady exercise of not seeing it that way. Okay, so you're going to do the same thing, but now it'll be on the keys. Focus on your second finger before you even move. Just like we focused on our left shoulder. And now feel the finger rise just a little bit. Now play the note. Fine. Now focus on your next finger. Feel the suspension of that, but now relax inside. Now drop the finger. Now put your mind back on your fourth finger. Raise it a little bit. Wait. Relax. Relax in here. Drop the finger. on your third finger. Feel the suspension a bit of it. I'll wait. Take a nice deep breath. Drop it. Focus on the second finger. Okay. Okay, well, your hand. When I say drop the finger, drop the finger. Drop the finger. See, now why did that note play? The other ones made it feel like you don't have any weight to drop the hand because you're still being in some way you're just still intimidated by it in some way but if you actually get out of the way what happens the hand plays the finger. lift the thumb thinking is, I gotta make, I gotta play good, I gotta play good. And let the hand for the first time know what it feels like to connect with the keyboard without your mind. That is where all the exciting stuff's gonna come from. But first, it's about undoing the damage that's been done. People touch the keyboard and feel connected instead of touch the keyboard and feel like you're being judged on what's gonna happen next. Now just put both hands on the keyboard. Now I want you to just move around, but don't listen. Step builds up to that. Let's 
do it again. Put your hands there. Now I want you to move, wiggle your fingers as fast as you can without worrying about what notes you're doing. And move your arms back and forth. Okay. Go. So you see your brothers and sisters? What's his name? What's he doing? Oh, so he's rich? sound the thing that constricts you is the sound you're making I think about that is that the way you want to go through life what inhibits me is the sound I'm making on my instrument oh my god that's the invisible reason why a lot of artists just don't have any presence they're actually restricted by the rightness or wrongness of what they think they should be playing or is it happening or not? do you want do you want to be liberated by the sound of you touching an instrument, or do you want to be inhibited by the sound of you touching an instrument? And you don't have to answer that, obviously. 